Over a girl. Gabriel. Really. I mean, I knew you were slumming, but... I hope you didn't catch anything. Lucifer, you're my brother, and I love you. But you are a great big bag of dicks. <laughs>
I have a lot of Sims videos in the last two months, I think. Um, yeah, so this is the new footage. Um, I had another go at him because I had just made Lucifer and I was like, well, that went very well, so why can't I do Gabriel? <laughs> so I decided, let's have another go at it. So I changed his hair because I just thought the, the other hair was a bit, uh, a bit too long. So um, here I'm having another go, thinking, hmm, what can I do to improve the overall look? And then I was like, oh yeah, playing with the, the, the height of the chin, so actually it's face length. And, uh, and yeah, the chin uh, as well, because he has quite a distinct chin. Uh, so I was just trying to recreate it. It's not perfect. But I think in the end it did work out. And here you see me just adjusting the jawline um, to make it a bit more. I think overall that went quite well. So um, I think I used the same reference picture. I'm not entirely sure though. I can't remember which reference picture I used two months ago. But it was probably the same because I'm always looking for uh, a picture in which um, the person isn't smiling. Because if you pick a picture where someone is smiling, it can really throw you off. Um, it's mainly concerning like cheekbones. Um, that's why usually you want uh, a picture with a neutral look. And if you look for uh, Gabriel from Supernatural, most of them are like with smiles or smirks. So I think I just picked the same picture. They yeah, are just messing around with the lips because I was like, they're a bit too thin in general. I was like, hmm. And also a bit too, um, uh, too, I want to say small. Um, it wasn't broad enough, is what I'm trying to say. So here I have another go at the nose. Um, you know, I also um, had a sideways looking photo. Actually, it was a drawing of a, of a fan, but it was, it was very well done. So I actually uh, looked at that drawing uh, to, you know, to correct the nose a bit. So, as I said, not perfect, but sometimes in games like these you have to um, try to appropriate it. Um, and sometimes you have to make the choice to um, adapt it a little bit because it looks better in game. So that's actually what I did with the nose and the chin. I was like, it's not perfect, it's not perfectly accurate, but I think it works very well. So I had another look at the eyes. Um, in general, I think they were just too wide and just a bit too too big, actually. Because I think one of the distinct features that um, um, Richard Spade uh, Jr. has is that, you know, his eyes are very, well, actually very small. Um, and it always looks like he's laughing, like they're like a bit close, because it seems like he's laughing all the time with his eyes, which is a very charming feature, I must say. So, um, yeah, I, I can't wait to implement him and, you know, the other archangels and angels in my game, <laughs> even though I'm still at the child stage. So, yeah, this is old footage again, so it's just to show me uh, doing the wardrobe. Um, so this is like still the old sim. Uh, I don't think I changed anything in clothing. So you'll have to do it with this old face. <laughs> That's okay. So I was like, yeah, okay, the jacket is fine. As I said, I downloaded uh, the, you know, the first sim. So the sim you see entirely in the beginning is downloaded. Um, I always like to start from a base. That's why uh, I did that. So I was looking at the picture. Um, trying to appropriate the colors as much as I could, you know. And I went to his formal wear. I'm not sure um, what the other person gave him as formal wear. I guess we will see. Oh yeah, it was quite accurate. But I kind of want to change something, you know, mainly colors. But I think I changed his pants as well, didn't I? Uh, no, I guess I didn't. <laughs> No, no, okay, I didn't change that much, mainly colouring. Um, it's, of course, from his uh, Casa Erotica video. <laughs> I thought I had to do that. Um, oh yeah, one afternoon is sleepwear. I think I give him, yeah, long pants. 
uh, I am going to change that because lately I uh, rewatched uh, Tall Tales, I think the episode is called, and he actually has like red silky shorts there, um, so, you know, as sleepwear. So I am going to change that. Uh, for his aerobic wear, I thought, what would Gabriel wear? Uh, so I thought, let's go with something like crazy 80s a little bit. Um, so yeah. This is mainly me thinking, hmm, how do I make it look a bit, you know, fun and maybe a bit outrageous, kind of. <laughs> so I went with uh, like a 80s style, you know, those shoes, white with purple. And uh, I think I give him sunglasses as well. Yeah, I do. I was very tempted to give him like the huge um, headphones, like... I really wanted to do that for a second as well. I changed my mind, but I would totally see Gabriel doing this. Um, this one where I went with something a bit ridiculous as well, you know, like the t-shirt with the ducky and then the flippers. I thought it would be fun. Uh, outer wear, I think I just give him the same as his normal wear. So, you know, the, the jacket with the... Uh, normally it's supposed to be like a, a Bordeaux polo that he wears under it. But here it's a shirt because Sims is limited and, you know, it's not perfect. So I kind of give him the same clothing that he has in his everyday life. So I gave him the likes of Sydney's pop music and favorite color yellow. So I hope you enjoyed the video um, and I will see you later. Bye!